Hello guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are ready for a really cool video because we partnered with Rococo and they sent this suits that they make for the amateur game maker. I've been wanting to try one of these for a while. I have tried something similar from Accents, which is another company, uh, the competitors, and I've tried that in a few studios now over the years. And because I've been wanting to try this one, um, I thought that now that I have my course motion capture for games and it's going so well, one of the questions that I get every so often is about what if I actually want to capture mocap in my bedroom, in my office, in my studio, whatever you guys decide. So I did thought that it would be ideal for me to contact Rococo to see if we can get one of these. And then I can actually give you my pros and cons about this suit and how much you can actually capture with it. Because I do think that there is a difference between a suit like this that you can capture at home and a suit that you can actually use on a mocap studio with all the little balls everywhere. There is a difference because you have many more cameras, you have much more accuracy, and the whole studio is made for you to be able to basically record anything and everything with multiple actors. And there's some limitations to this, but I do think that for anybody out there that is looking to actually start their own game or is looking to actually get some type of mocap that it can then clean up later, these things are super, super useful. So we're gonna go ahead unbox it this is going to be just the unboxing my first impressions and then we are going to go ahead and test it out in future videos now let's get started so i already unboxed this one mainly because i was curious very curious <laughs> and uh, this is actually a, a headset from rococo i just unboxed it i haven't really seen what's inside i'm super excited to actually give it a try so this is basically a face mount that you basically put here and you put a phone here in front of you and you capture your facial expressions. Now, I'm really, really curious to try this. And what's in the box is this. There's a getting started guide that I'm gonna put here. And there's also this, this bit. So this goes on the back of your head. This goes in front of it. And then you can basically adjust it to make it tighter or larger. So that is basically the headset that you use to actually capture facial mocap, which I'm super, super excited. Now, the uh, piece de resistance, the thing that everybody's looking for is actually this, which most likely, and I'm not too sure, but I think that includes the suit and it might also include some gloves for us to capture fingers in our office here upstairs apologies for the setup it's a little last minute we're actually doing this downstairs because um i don't have a lot of space upstairs in my office so we had to kind of like make this impromptu studio this is why it's so bright and the light is slightly weird as you can see here there's two boxes i'm gonna open the smaller one first just to find out what's inside of it once again very well wrapped and i have to give major props to rococo for their packaging because this is very similar to what apple does the boxes themselves and you probably you won't be able to see this in camera but they have this coating not this one but this one has this coating that feels almost rubberized it feels really nice so what's inside here the rococo smart gloves so we have a getting started guide again for the smart gloves specifically and then we have a really nice travel box for the smart gloves i'm just going to put them here because it seems like there's something else inside here and that is basically just the cables that you need to connect i guess each glove so a cable per hand makes sense okay so inside this carrying box which feels quite nice it's like leathery it's really really cool we have the smart gloves once again major props to rococo because the packaging on this is excellent when you go into their website you can select if you actually want medium large or small and i selected medium for myself i'm not too sure if this is going to be like my size yet but fingers crossed it's kind of tight but that's kind of how it's supposed to feel so i'm going to be comparing this to all the suits i wore a lot of mocap suits over the years in many different scenarios so I'm definitely going to be testing this with other mocap suits. This feels quite tight, maybe slightly too tight, I'm not too sure. But for a medium, it feels tight. The whole idea of a mocap suit is that it kind of gets really close to your body, so it basically disappears. But we'll test a little bit more as we go through the rest of the stuff. All right, so that's smart gloves. By the way, really cool 
for them to actually include something that looks like it's gonna last for a long time. Because what happens is, whenever you are capturing things, especially outside, because this doesn't need cameras, is inertia based. It means that you have to carry this to different places. And uh, if you have to do it in a park, if you have to actually capture, you know, in your garden, back garden, whatever, this then becomes super useful because you only have to take this and fingers crossed, the suit comes with the same. So we can basically take it with us. Okay, so now that we checked out the gloves, let's move on to this big one here. Oh, I just saw something that I was not expecting. So this bit here, and move it over here. This, I'm guessing, is the suit because it's a big box, but comes with a nice hanger. <laughs> now, this here is the box for the suit. Now, this is the second version, I believe, and it says here, join the movement, Smart Suit Pro 2. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So, on the bottom, you can see uh, made with Rococo and Rococo.com. The box has the same kind of like lining, like feel, then the smart gloves, which is great. Yeah, so now we can see the suit and yeah, this looks pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna have to take it out. So first impressions, it's heavy. <laughs> so um, the suits that we use normally in the mocap studios, they don't have any tech in them. It's very much like a, like a Velcro suit, if that makes sense. So it has this kind of material inside, but on the outside it's just Velcro everywhere. And then the Velcro is to basically get things to attach to it. So the little balls, reflective balls that you have to actually basically mocap and capture mocap. That's the only thing that goes on the suit. So it's very light and it feels good because you can be nimble with it. This one obviously has tech inside, but it looks quite minimalistic given all the tech that is inside. I can feel a whole lot of cables and just tech. There's a almost like a power brick here. There's another one here. Um, there's something else here. So like, especially here on the top, there's lots of stuff. And then there's also stuff inside, but kudos to, um, to Rococo because they managed to just hide the whole thing. It's really well done. You can tell they put a lot of work into this. So everything has pockets. And I guess within every pocket you have different things. So I'm guessing this is the main module where you have the Wi-Fi, connects to Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth and all that stuff, I guess goes into here. And then you have a bunch of other zippers around the, the suit to get to certain cables as you go through it. And then you have extra pockets to put extra stuff, which is great. Because uh, I think, based on the instructions that I've seen online, you need to have uh, an extra battery, a uh, USB battery, so you can power the suit. Uh, this is the only way you can make it un uh, wireless. There's extra stuff here, for example. Oh, I think this is the headband. You have to put this around your head. This is great. I can put it even on top of my of my hat if I need to. So I don't show you like my messed up hair that I have today, which is great. So yeah, no, I think that the suit is really well put together. I feel like the Rokoko did a really good job at hiding a lot of stuff and minimizing all of the tech that is within this suit. Yeah, so we have cables here as well. We have modules, um, more cables over here as well. This I'm guessing connects to the glove. I wonder if there's any place, specific place to put the battery. I'm guessing it's probably here that you get to put the battery. It looks like a pocket. And it has a cable that I'm guessing is to plug the battery. Perfect. Just first thoughts. I kind of wish that it was USB-C for everything. It seems like some are USB-C, but this one is USB-A, I believe they call it, or B. And then it has also some straps on the side. And I'm guessing these straps are to adjust to the different sizes that you have as a person. Some people have really thick arms, some people have really thick legs. I have skinny arms and thick skinny legs. So I'm guessing it's to basically adjust to the to people, right? Like, you know, having making sure that things are tight. Now, one of the things that you can suffer the most from actually wearing a suit like this is normally heat. Um, by the end of the day, whenever you capture a mocap, you are so hot in these shoe suits. And part of the reason is because there's no ventilation. They're normally like suits that basically just go in the washing machine as soon as you finish because you're all sweaty. But it seems like they actually, I don't know if you can see it from there, but they actually have lots of ventilation here. So right here at the bottom, there's a mesh right there that basically goes from one side to the other. 
right? I can see it with my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but the bottom, like the inside of the arm, it's all meshy. And then it goes all the way down the sides up to here. And I'm guessing the same thing on the other side as well. This should allow for much more comfortable shooting for long periods of time. There's also a mesh on the bottom, which is great, all the way down to, this, to the legs. I'm guessing because this is the second version, they probably took a lot of learnings from the first version and then created the suit. So um, that's the suit. I am going to go ahead and put it over where here, just temporarily. It's messy, but we forgot to actually re like check out the other stuff that comes in the box. So we have here in this magic pouch, <laughs> uh, we have some cables that are interesting. I wonder what this does, huh? I don't know what these cables are for and I don't know how they work, but I'm interested to know more about their functionality. It says here, need to repair your Rococo product? Scan the code below to find out how to repair it. So you can repair your own suit? That's cool. That's cool though, that's really cool. Okay, uh, so I guess this is to repair the suit. I guess it's in case of emergency. You have an extra cable here, uh, USB-A to a USB-C, and then there's also a getting started guide right here. Now, that's all we have. I'm super, super excited to actually go ahead and start testing this and putting it on and see how it feels. You won't be able to see this in action in front of the computer and the results just yet. I'm keeping that for a future video, but I'm gonna go ahead, leave, put it on, come back, and then I'll show you how that feels overall with the gloves and stuff. Let's do that. So here I am with the suit and here's the impressions overall. Um, it's much more complex to put on than a mocap suit. Uh, normally, as I mentioned before, the mocap suits are normally like super, it's like putting a sock on, <laughs> just put it on, super easy. But this, I found that because it has so much tech inside, as you put it on, you find always obstacles. So it takes a little longer to put on, but it's not that bad, given the fact that you don't have any cameras and it's doing so much for you. But I feel uh, very compressed in the suit. And like, I think when in terms of mo mobility, I feel good in my legs. And the reason why I'm talking about mobility is because one of the things that mocap suits on the big studios do is making sure that you can have full range of mobility. And normally you start by doing a T-pose every time. And then you, sometimes you do like all kinds of movements in order to calibrate the cameras. And then you go ahead and shoot the mocap. With this one, I feel slightly constrained, but not so much that I won't be able to make like any movement that I would like to do. And one of the things that I wanted to do on camera was see if we can actually um, find out how these things plug to the suit. Obviously the gloves have some type of gyroscope here or something like that. And these cables that I've been just waving around as I was talking, I'm guessing they actually plug to this USB slot right here. And then you're good to go. This is where it becomes interesting because I'm not too sure if I should put the gloves first or if I should put the cable, I like the cable first. So we are discovering this real time while I am on camera. Okay, let's see. So if I put this here, would the gloves go on top of this? Maybe the gloves go here and then this cable goes here. I guess the gloves go on top of the suit and then can close it in like this, like so. And that feels pretty awesome. Yeah, everything is incredibly tight, but in a good way. Yeah, I feel like I can do lots of stuff. Let me do the same thing for this one. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that the more you use this suit, the easier it's going to be to put it on. It's almost like, uh, you know, when you have new shoes, leather shoes, and the first time that you put it on is a bit of a, of a stretch. And then the more you do it, the more you kind of find out different ways to make your life easier. I'm kind of hoping that it's gonna be the case for this suit. The mental barrier to actually put the suit doesn't become a problem because there is something to be said about how easy it is for you to basically get in the suit and then start capturing data, right? If you mentally think that it's gonna be difficult to put the suit on, you immediately go, nah. I feel pretty good. I feel like I can start capturing data. Overall, I like it. I'm excited. I feel a little bit like Iron Man. I can't deny. So um, yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. But for now, this is the unboxing of the Rococo suit. And then on the next video, we're gonna cover how it is to set it up and to get it going and how accurate can you get the data in comparison to a top-notch studio that actually shoots things for a lot of money. Till then, 
Stay well, stay safe. Peace.